Hi guys, welcome back to Derby Koi. Ooh. As you can see, bloody freezing still. Um, just got in from work, it's uh, Thursday. Actually got to manage to leave a bit early today. It's uh, 25 past three, I've just got in. So, a um, couple of things I wanna, actually I'll show you around here first. What I wanna do first, I want to get uh, on today. Let me spin you around and uh, show you this quickly. Okay, a uh, bit more on winter stuff. As you can see, my returns, which come from my skimmer, through my skimmer into my outflow and return back there and there. Now I always put uh, some rubber boots on the end, some strike connectors. And put them under water. I know it's uh, not much, but there is that little bit of moving water above. So I do like to uh, get those sorted. But <clears throat> let me show you here. I had to actually had a uh, look online for a couple. Um, oh, let me spin you again. Yeah, I had a look online. Um, well, I thought I had some of them strike, uh, rubber strike boots, the connector things, the flexible rubbers, um, which I used last year. I know I used one on uh, my waste pipe from my upflow filter, but I thought I had another one. Can't find it anywhere, so I thought I'll buy a couple more. Oh my God, prices have really gone up, She's gone through the roof. About nine quid each, something eight, nine quid each, then it was posted on top of that. I thought, oh my God. So I thought I'm going to have to order them, but I suddenly had a thought then. Um, I've got some of this. What this is, is a uh, let's put a pipe here. It's an air intake pipe off a machine. Now, so what I did, I cut it down into a U shape. A tube clip on the end. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than my inch and a half pipe, but I've squashed that down. And that squashes down perfectly to the size I need. Um, it's thoroughly clean because it's is, it is brand new. <laughs> it was one that I had and I didn't need. Um, so I've had my own. That saved me nearly 20 quid. So I've got two of these. As you can see, two of those. There you go, two. So um, I've got to get them on today. Um, before I do that, temperatures. Now, uh, the last two, three nights, something like that, the temperature of a night's going down around two and three degrees. Going to work this morning at quarter past six. Um, got into the van, he said it was two in the van. And the temperature hasn't gone up much today either. I think it comes to about eight or nine for the height today. Yesterday was about the same. Um, but my pond temperatures. I can spin it around to see that. At the moment, we're at 11.2, and in the filter house, it's 15.3. So, um, even though I'm dropping drastically on the night, um, and it hasn't got much higher today, my pond's still holding good, decent temperatures, thankfully, at the moment, with the covers on. They're really helping me out on that one. Um, tonight, even, uh, look at the weather for tonight, it's going down to two again and I think tomorrow is down to one and again uh, around seven or eight in the day um, so thankfully the covers are on and that's really helping me out keeping some temperature in the pond um, I will talk a little bit about covers in a minute uh, I am still feeding at the moment I am on obviously 100% wheat germ and I see the temperature still up quite good at the moment so they are still eating um, probably twice a day um, if they're looking active, I'll give them twice a day. If they're not looking active, they're on once, but it's been mainly twice a day. And I'm going to continue to feed now until it gets to around eight, seven or eight degrees. So I think I'm going to stop feeding, even though um, this uh, Medikoi wheat germ and garlic, I think it says you can feed it down to like five degrees. I like to stop before that, to be honest. Um, I do like to get it down a little. Uh, stop feeding when it's a bit higher so it's around seven or eight degrees i will stop uh, unless they've come, become really active and actively searching for food then i'll give them a little bit but what i did try them because the temperatures are still up a bit 
just so I had some. You can see that. A few Cheerios and uh, Henrietta absolutely wolfed them down. Um, absolutely loved them. Sankey came up, had a few, and the others were a bit dubious, new food obviously, but Henrietta absolutely loves them. So uh, I'm not going to feed too much of them. Um, I don't probably might not even feed any more of them at the moment. Uh, but in the summer, definite treat for them. They're going to love them in the summer. That's uh, something extra for them. Uh, yeah, so um, let's get on with it. Let me get these on and uh, we'll go on from there. Okay. Rubber boots are on. As you can see, now underwater. Just to stop, because there is that gap, I said, between the uh, water and the covers. And uh, <coughs> that's going to be colder than the actual water, and that's just going to cool it down. So, don't even make a great deal of difference, but it's like what I do. But, and it is nice, soft rubber. In fact, it's probably softer than the uh, other pipe that I use, the uh, rubber connectors that I've been using in the past. I think it's softer than that, so if they do bump into it, I shouldn't really hurt themselves and all the fish are hiding at the moment it's cold to come round, oh there's Henry or Henrietta I should say fish are all looking after it fantastic again it's got a tiny bit of car pox coming on the uh, on his tail not a lot but it uh, she always does suffer with the uh, car pox but all the other fish are doing fantastic the Kajako looking absolutely brilliant now really pleased with his uh, progress but yeah all looking good going into the winter so um, yeah very happy with it so far obviously keeping on it with the water tests and everything else this time of year because <clears throat> the uh, filters are the bacteria and the filters are starting to die off a little bit so I am keeping me on that yeah, really happy with the way they're looking at the moment. And they are still quite active, like I say, it's just over 11 at the moment. Still very active, not sat on the bottom. So, yeah, very happy. While I'm out, get this side up and uh, yeah, Henry is straight up look. Straight up for food. As is the Sankey. Crest still going well. I'm leaving that in this year. I'll see you now when it does. Next year, I'm actually thinking of completely removing it and replacing it with some fresh stuff because uh, it hasn't gone as green as normal, even though it's been cut back a little bit. It hasn't gone as green as it normally does. Uh, but yeah, still looking good. I mean, it's my boy. And on the 11th of November, I just found some uh, bit, of, bit of koi food. On the 11th of November, He'll be two years old, my little, my boy. So we're going to have a bit of a uh, birthday bash for you, my boy. Hey, bit of a birthday bash for you. Get some treats. Have a lot of fun and spoil him rotten. Yeah. So, right. Let's get back in the field race. Right. Um. Just want a quick chat about pond covers. Um. Now, a comment I had when I done my um put my covers on one of the comments I received um, it was actually from a, a gentleman who actually wasn't in the other I think he was actually in this country um, and he says but why'd you bother um, covering your pond fish should be perfectly fine with low temperatures uh, just enjoy the um, enjoy the fish so you know you obviously have the covers and you can't see them now well <laughs> um, in the UK it's um, a hot topic pond covers when you go on different forums and things like that um, this is debate will go on forever with people saying I've never covered and I don't need you know there's no need to cover just, you know all these things and other people who cover obviously I cover um, uh, my, my mother had a pond uh, she had a koi pond 
for many years um, and she never covered. Um, it was had um, a roof over it, so you had and a side, so it was fairly well protected. But it, you know, it was still quite harsh in the winter, and she never covered. Um, for me personally, uh, obviously where I live, I live in the country, um, uh, and it's quite open to the elements where I am, so I prefer to cover. Um, main reason is wind chill. The quickest way to cool your water is the wind chill. Um, obviously, put the covers on cuts that down and also for me it's um, I think it stabilizes the water a lot more it stops them massive temperature swings as I said um, you know it's been going down quite cold the last few nights you know two and three degrees something like that and my pond's still at 11 if I hadn't been covered the temperature would have just suddenly dropped um, which I, I'm not you know I didn't want to happen because that can be quite detrimental you fish a sudden drop in temperature like that can they won't be very happy. Um, now, last year was my uh, first year of putting covers on. I think no, sorry, it was my second year of putting covers on. Sorry, um, but there is a friend of mine, a neighbour, uh, fairly close to me, who's got a pond of a similar size. He hasn't got the koi in it. It's similar size, similar depth, and he doesn't cover. Now, the first year I put the covers on on my pond, um, I had stable temperature. I think the lowest mine went down to. I think if I remember right, it's around six, seven degrees was the lowest, maybe something like that. And we had minus temperatures outside, snow on the ground and everything. Now, as I said, his pond was the same, about the same size as mine, and his pond froze over, um, quite thick, um, you know, quite a depth of, of uh, ice, and he has got a filter on it, um, and that froze as well. Um, Luckily, he didn't. His fish survived. He's, uh, when he's, he realised his pipe was frozen, he managed to get it thawed out, and he ran it back up again, got it all up and running, and he cracked the pipe. So luckily, he was there, so we didn't have a problem. So, and I say he's just round the corner from me, so we're in the same area, same temperatures. His pond froze, mine didn't. Luckily, uh, so yeah, so it stops that, stops some drastic uh, temperature changes, which also means I can feed for longer. And uh, like I say, if I didn't have covers on now, I'm estimating my pond would probably be down around 7 degrees, 6, 7 degrees, something like that. Um, because of a night, it really dropped quick. But because of that, I can still feed, which is uh, another good thing. Um, also, it is coming to the winter. Um, and there's debris. There's, I'm surrounded by, I haven't got them myself, but my neighbours have. I've got hedges and stuff, that evergreens. Um, but there's, there's neighbours and various trees all around here. I'm right on the edge of the uh, National Forest. So we do get quite a few leaves here. Um, obviously I've got the skimmer, that's why I went for the one with the bigger basket. But now it's covered, I don't get no uh, rubbish in the pond. Um, another good one for me where I am again, um, predators. Obviously it's coming into winter now, and uh, obviously the, the predatory birds and things like that. Um, I find it more and more difficult to find food in their natural habitat, the, the lakes and the rivers and things, because obviously the fish have become more dormant and they're going to the bottom. So they're looking for an easier target. And obviously with the pond, it's an easier target. So covers on, obviously it's extremely protective from predators. Um, not just the, the feathered kind, uh, but also otters and things, which there is around. Luckily I haven't had a problem with them, but I know people who have. Um, so yeah, that's another thing for it. Sorry about that, the camera went off. <laughs> yeah, so having the covers on uh, for me, that, that's the reasons I have them on. Uh, obviously I'll cover through them again. You know, wind chill, big factor. Uh, stops the severe water uh, swings and temperature swings in your water. Keeps it a bit more stable, which helps you feed it for longer. Um, helps reduce, gives the beer, a lot of the debris out of your pond. And uh, for me, it's predators as well. Um, yeah, so pros and cons, there is to all of them. I'm not saying cover your pond, it's just what I do. As I said, you know, a lot of people say I've never covered my pond and I don't see the point in it. That's fair enough. If you don't want to cover, absolutely fine. I'm sure, you know, if you fish the fine, absolutely brilliant. But for me, um, I prefer to cover them. So, uh, yeah, that's the question I was asked. So, yeah, there you go. Um, right. Um, I want to say a big thank you again for the. My last video was my little Halloween 
a um, bit of fun, my Halloween video. Uh, I had some good response from it, so I really do appreciate that. I know it's not what you want to see, it's not a koi, um, you know, nothing to do with koi, it was just a bit of fun for Halloween. And I want to say a big thank you to all those um, other YouTubers who took part in that and give me their permission uh, to use them in that video. Um, I, I like the video and I, I say I had a lot of good response about it. So I have been asked, am I doing any more? Am I doing a Christmas special? Um, all I can say is the casting director is on the case at the moment. So you never know. Keep keep a lookout. Okay. Um, not the longest of videos today um I, unfortunately i haven't had much chance to do a lot i say it is thursday it's the first chance i've had to do any filming um and as it's coming to winter now uh, unfortunately uh, i'm not heated so filming's going to be a lot a lot less to film for me now and uh, as well as a lot of other youtubers as well um but i'll get out if i can put something out i'm not going to put anything out for, for no reason if i got something to film and i think it's good enough for you i will try and keep you updated as much as I can um, over the next few months and uh, we'll see how we get on with that but yeah I'm very happy with everything this going I've got all my filters to clean at the moment so I haven't been cleaned yet um, still got all that to do um, I just wanted to very quickly as well a um, couple of messages uh, firstly to Vince and Sue at Twisted Koi uh, I really do hope you're feeling better soon um, unfortunately I've if you don't know who Vince and Twisty Koi is, pop over and see their channel. Um, Vince and Sue, they've unfortunately both been diagnosed with COVID and uh, they're going through quite a rough, bit rough at the moment. Um, I don't know, they're trying to soldier on and they're still trying to put little, little videos out, which is, you know, which is brilliant. Uh, but just want to say, get well soon, mate. And you, Sue, get your, get, both of you get well soon. Uh, and hopefully you're back to normal soon. And uh, busy here myself. And Graham, send all our love and get well soon. Also, Andy at Coy Pond Lifestyle, I know he's been really bad uh, with COVID as well. He had, he's been suffering with it. Um, so hopefully you're feeling better, mate. And uh, you can taste them out cake soon. So get soon, get well soon, mate. Okay, so as I said, just a, a short one, this one. So uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing subscribing <laughs> subscribing even and hit that bell to for notifications uh, don't forget to pop over to Facebook even busy says subscribe <laughs> yeah so pop over to Facebook catch me on there um, I will try and put as much as I can out and just keep you updated um, throughout this uh, winter period it's not the best time we know so that's it for now so until the next one, stay safe, jobs are good.